I came up and gave you a hug. You did you indeed. You always do. <laughs> and you start a precedent then. Once you do it, then the others start. Doing. I teach them. <laughs> Hello, this is Father Louis Skirty once again with my guest, His Excellency Bishop Frank J. Rodimer, Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Patterson, celebrating 65 years as a priest this year, 2016. God bless you, and thank you, Bishop, for being thank you, guest Father. once again. Um, on previous episodes, we had, episode, we had uh, an overview of so many aspects mm -hmm. of your insight to uh, Vatican II, the changes pre- and post-Vatican II. Um, you went to Vatican II. True. What was, your, what was your role, and tell me what that experience was like. Well, first of all, B Bishop McNulty... Uh, was invited each member of those working in the Chancery Office for a two-week stint to go with them oh. over. Uh, so I was the, the last of that that little group. Uh, so I was there for two weeks for the first session of the mm. uh, the council. Um, I, I I went there really to pick up uh, the the news uh, releases. Okay. And uh, they had an office down at the Via Conciliazione down at the end, and it was every day they had a, uh, uh, a conference, uh, a press conference, and anybody, and I represented the Advocate then, which, oh, right, which right. was a, a paper that uh, served really Newark and Patterson right, at right. that time. Bishop Casey changed that, but anyway, <laughs> um, I went down and I picked that up, and they'd, they'd have a panel, maybe ten, mostly priests, uh, who were there to discuss what the bishops had discussed that day. Right, right, right. So I really got a... Now these were all pros. These were experts. Right. Pariti. The Pariti, right, right. So they, they, they would explain what, what went on and then give out a mimeograph form uh, in those days. And yeah. uh, so that was what I did. Then when, I, when Bishop Nava came along as our bishop, he named me as chancellor and his, uh, his secretary. I hadn't been that for the uh, for Bishop McNulty, but at any rate, uh, that meant that one of my principal uh, occupations was driving a car in Rome. Oh, you love that! Which, uh, <laughs> I learned how to be brave and courageous and uh, drive with your eyes closed. <laughs> it is a, it is amazing. Uh, but anyway, I, know, I remember once down at the Piazza Venezia, do you remember that? See, see. That spot, where about uh, six or seven lanes merged into one. And, and, and there was no rule at of all. Of course, it, it's so Italy. <laughs> you just fought your way yeah. into, into your place. But anyway, that was one of my big jobs. But also I did typing for them and uh, had my little typewriter with me and did that for him. How did you send the, the press releases to the United States? Well, in those days, there was mailing and uh, and the telephone. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's wow. the best we could do. That's so, great. Isn't that interesting yeah. how things have changed? He, uh, Bishop Nava, was a wonderful bishop, very apostolic uh, bishop, very interested in the missions and, mm. and the church universal and in being a good pastor here locally. He, he really killed himself. He died at the council. I remember that. Yeah, right, the last, right, the fourth right. session. I wasn't with him when he, I was with him the week before, but at uh, any rate, he, he was not a well man physically, mm -hmm. but bright and, and uh, at any rate, he loved the council. That's and the last, the last uh, uh, bishop, uh, I wasn't with him, but that was Bishop Casey. Okay. Bishop Casey... When he came to us, he had gone to all four sessions, of mm. course, as the Bishop of Rochester, uh, Auxiliary Bishop of Rochester. Right. Uh, he had gone, uh, um, and uh, Paul the Sixth was the Pope okay. for the end of the council, right. and he gave every one of the bishops in attendance a ring. But it was, uh, then, and I have it, Bishop mm. Casey never used it, and it was really? in, it was uh, it wasn't made it was a, a band beautiful so i had it made and the uh, this the uh, seal of uh, paul the 6 is on the inside uh, i don't know whether you can broadcast this or not but we'll get a anyway, close up later maybe later that's great anyway but it's uh, and you inherited jesus it. in the front 
and uh, P uh, Peter and Paul Peter on Paul. the two sides. Absolutely. Yes, I, uh, he left that to his successor. That's so great. That. That's beautiful. But at any rate, uh, <laughs> I I never got into the sessions. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, I had a good uh, uh, had had a good p understanding That's of it uh, through the. Uh, there's a great story of, of that. Uh, now, I, whatever you're going to tell, I love already because I love when you tell your stories. But go ahead. Well, <laughs> anyway, this is about Saint Joseph. There was a, a bishop from Croatia who was beat up by the communists, and he mm. had a great devotion to Saint Joseph. So he got up and he gave kind of a long. Uh, they were they were supposed to have only five minutes each, oh, right. and he went on and he went on and he went he went before and he got the bell, um, and the cardinal who was in charge. There were four cardinals that were took turns being uh, presiding, and uh, so anyway, the cardinal you know made sort of made fun of him in a way. He says, "We all love Saint Joseph, you know." Uh, this is all in Latin, by right, the way. Right, right. We all love we all love Saint Joseph, you know. But you know, p please uh, sit down. <laughs> so uh, then, when they got to the end of the morning session, uh, he said the prayer, uh, the noonday prayer, and the the Angelus, and he made, in very loud voice, the prefect said, uh, "And Saint Joseph," and everybody said, pray for us, and they all laughed, mm -hmm. all except one. Yeah. There was one bishop, and that was John the 23rd. He was watching mm -hmm. on closed-circuit television, and he knew this bishop. From Croatia. He, he had been uh, a nuncio to the Yugoslavia. Mm. So he knew this man, and he knew that he was half dead. They wrecked a train with when all these... Uh, Catholics were on it, uh, and, and he almost died. So that day, and this is the first time in 500 years, that day he decreed that St. Joseph would be in the canon of the Mass. So, Isn't that, that fascinating? Wow. So, and of course it made front page news because nobody ever changed the canon of the Mass. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, <laughs> God... The, that's wonderful, the insight and the memories that you have. As, yeah, yeah. Tell me what it was like in the early, di in early days of your ministry here in the Diocese of Patterson as you served in many parishes. How many? Well, actually, I had been in St. Brendan's. Uh, I had been an administrator in Sparta, Our Lady of the Lake, which, by the way, I loved, I must say. I loved every place I've been. But uh, because I was there for just uh, about a year, a little less, and Bishop Casey, and the 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 priest who baptized me, no. Monsignor Hewitson, he was the pastor of St. Paul's in Clifton. He was the second pastor of St. Paul's, <laughs> and uh, he uh, and I succeeded him. Bishop uh, uh, Casey said, "I want you to go to St. Paul's in Clifton," and I said, "Well, Bishop, I'm very happy up in Sparta." He says, "I know." That was the end of it. That's, yeah. <laughs> so, That's nice. So was, I <laughs> going on anyway. <laughs> so I knew that was it. Always, I've always felt one of the most important things in doing God's will uh, is to be obedient. Mm. I, I, I just... Uh, I'm going to work on it's that It's never one. hurt me, I <laughs> must good. say. That's and good. I, uh, and I try, try very hard and, as an administrator never to, uh, to ask... Uh, the impossible, or the, or, or something that's going to be hurtful to an indiv individual. Beautiful. But at any rate, it, of course, I was there for ten years as pastor, and then was named named a bishop. Um, um, but prior to that, you were also in administration the, uh, at the and the, at and the, the diocese. Or? I was, uh, as I said, uh, bishop. I was administ. I, I, they they call it. Uh, assistant Chancellor, which doesn't even what does it mean? exist in Canada. <laughs> but Bishop McNulty, that, he was not a canonist. He was a great man, but he had very little interest, I would say, <laughs> in, in Canada. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, then Bishop Nava made me uh, Chancellor. And, and you're still pastor, and you're still working in the parish. Yeah. See, and that's what I think is so interesting 
um, you, you, you're not an office man. You, you were there. You're working in the parish. You're, you're from the diocese. You, you knew the people. Uh, you, you administered how many, you know, sacraments prior to becoming a bishop. Yeah. And I think you used, in my experience, you used that knowledge of your diocese and your people as a, as a, as a parochial vicar, as we, yeah, we call them yeah. now, in your ministry as a bishop. Well, I would hope so, and I, you know, I think that pastoral uh, experience and well, that's what a, a bishop's supposed to be. Exactly, pastor, shepherd, and, right? You know, I, I made when I was named the bishop. I said I'm going to spend a weekend uh, in every parish. I would go on Friday night oh. and uh, stay over the rec rectory on Friday and Saturday, attend or celebrate every mass on the weekend. Wow. And uh, then, you know, talk with the different groups right, in the parish. Right, right. I remember that. I remember that. Hearing that. It took me five was, years, by the way. Five years. <laughs> but I did it. I made them all of them. Yeah. That's great. This has been Father Louis Skirty with my wonderful guest, His Excellency, Bishop Frank J. Rodimer, this year celebrating 65 years as a priest. And these little tidbits and these little reminiscences are giving all of us, I hope, a great appreciation of his ministry. And we'll be back for more as we continue. Thank you, Bishop. This has been wonderful. Same here. Thank you.